competitors of the great horned. This is one, these are the, the two most common that we'll see around. Uh, most everybody's familiar with the great horned owl, kind of the, the, the most common owl that everybody tells me about. And again, you know, right away I say, you know, did it have horns? Well, yeah, but not very big. So they want to keep shrinking the horns down to say they saw a great gray owl. But frankly, if they've got horns, more than likely around here it's a, it's a great horn. Could be a, a, another owl, like a long-eared owl or, or something like that. But um, for the most part, this is what we have. And again, I talk uh, right off the bat about the, the beak. I'll, I'll ask questions if people come up to me and say that they saw an owl. This is a really black beak, even though they have some yellow eyes, real black beak. And notice the color, it's, I mean, it, they're really brown compared to the, the great gray. Um, forest dweller, you know, and um, uh, someone came up early and asked me about some owls that they, they have a lot of activity in January. And right away, that's the, the great horned owl. They're the earliest um, owl nester around here. So if you've got owl nesting activity early, uh, January, February, that's, that's this guy right here. So the barred owl, um, this guy, he's, he's not well liked by a lot of folks, including the, the folks that are fond of the spotted owls over on the coast. Um, this is a cousin, this is also a strict species. And uh, n note the barred, chested, um, the, the spotted owl, he would have bars going uh, horizontal, whereas the barred are vertical. Um, but just the contrast of the, the other two owls that I just talked about, yellow beak, but look at those eyes. Yeah, th those aren't pretty. Like, I wouldn't want to do a presentation about barred owls because they don't look pretty. But, so, you know, I always, ask, I always ask questions about the eyes. I said, what do the eyes look like? Do they look like devil eyes? And, uh, you know, um, just black holes. And, that, you know, that's a barred owl. And both of these two guys are extremely um, competi competitors to, to the great gray. The great gray, even though he's the largest, got the biggest wingspan um, forest owl out there, these two will outcompete generally for habitat. Um, and I've got a lot of habitat that I, I know of on, on National Forest Ground here on the Tanaska District that um, I have barred owls in. That would be great habitat for great grays. Um, but these guys are there, so they're, for now they're taking the, the little niche. Um, so facial discs on the barn, and just just take a moment if you see a forest owl out there, and, and just try to note um, those those characteristics: beak color, eyes. Do they have tufts on their ears? Yes or no? And then facial discs, um, and then you know overall color. These guys are fairly brown as well, and uh, and size wise, this. Great, great horned owl is about a quarter the size of a great, um, a quarter less the size of a great gray, and then the bard is even smaller than that. So, um, uh, if you see a big gray owl, then you know just start looking at uh, other features, and and you might you might actually have seen a, a great gray. Distinctive calls on both of those, and if you want to. You want to hear those calls? I have some of my little MP3. I can I can show you. Um, another thing, if, if you know you live in owl country, just um, pay attention to time of year you hear them, time of year you see them, and then time, uh, what what it sounds like. Um, the most common one is uh, who cooks for you. If if it sounds like who cooks for you, it's the the barred owl, and I, I can play that for you after the presentation. But just, just listen to that um, hoot, and it'll tell you right away what it is. <laughs> 